That was a, a very nice surprise and um, I feel very, very privileged to have been um, awarded that, that particular award by, by my peers around the world. Um, and what it really does too is, is provide a recognition of the work that UNGGIM has been doing with the countries in the industry. Um, and so I, I see this award as being a, reflect, a reflection of the efforts that they have contributed um, to assisting us in, in, in delivering our mandate within the UN system. So very, very happy. Yes, we believe it's incredibly important. Um, the new development agenda that was delivered in 2015 provided an important opportunity for Earth observations and geospatial information. And within the UN system, um, leveraging that opportunity is important for countries. And we are working very hard to enable or providing direction for countries to be able to leverage those, that new development agenda and the opportunities, particularly in how geospatial information, earth observations, statistics and other new data can support measuring and monitoring the sustainable development process. I think Reinventing or, or doing something new isn't necessarily what's required. What I would see is that we need to integrate more our information systems at a national level and that would then flow up into a regional and global level. So, so it's very much how we take some of our existing information structures and pot potentially tailor them more for how we deliver on environmental, economic and social aspects of our data construct within and across countries. I would see the, the framework very much being a national bottom-up approach. Um, for example, with the new Sustainable Development Goals, it has 17 goals, 169 targets and 230 indicators. They will be used by countries or reported on by countries in different ways. And so that framework on how they use their, their data construct will very much depend on what institutional and, and architectural arrangements already exist. Now in developed countries that's quite an easy um, consideration in terms of how that may be a modified national spatial data infrastructure. But what's also very important is how does that apply to developing countries, small island developing states and some of the least developed countries. And this mandate hopefully would provide these countries with the opportunity to start building and harnessing the processes that they can learn from other countries, but also the institutional arrangements or the governance that goes around those processes and frameworks are started to be created in developing countries. And that's something certainly within UNGGIM we're very much promoting, as we have been, for example, in our recent high-level forum which we just convened in Addis Ababa in Ethiopia just a few weeks ago. We are very much moving to this data-rich world, um, and, but in that context we have this challenge of, of countries that are rich and poor and that applies to data as well where where there are the rich and the poor in data, but also in architectures, technology, in institutional arrangements, methodologies, standards, etc. And so that's also going to be very important. Having lots of data is great. Being able to use and leverage that data and turn it into valuable information to support decision making is really where that integration and that change needs to occur taking the data, turning it into positive and usable outcomes.